Hey guys, it is Thursday on Dykes Like Dykes, and I'm Chrissy, and I made this video twice already, but YouTube has told me no because it's too long. So, one more time. I'm going to try to say this stuff fast. Um, this week's theme is how we deal with depression, anxiety, all of that stuff. Um, we see a lot on Tumblr that people want to kill themselves and they hurt themselves and all of that, so we want to touch light on some of those issues. Um, when I was younger, I dealt with depression and anxiety in good ways and bad ways. Um, good way. I wrote poetry. Um, I still do that. Um, that is my one way to get everything out. And it's amazing because I can write what I want and nobody has to read it if I don't want them to. And it's just everything that I am. So, poetry. Um, I suggest finding that one outlet that you can go to if it's running or working out or writing or singing or playing an instrument or whatever it is. Um, I think that's really important to find that one. So, um, besides what I do well to deal with an anxiety and depression and all of my issues, is I used to um, pill pop, unintentionally actually. Um, my mom used to be on a lot of narcotic drugs for um, her fibromyalgia and all of her like handicapped issues. And when I was younger, if I had a migraine or a stomach ache or whatever, she'd be like, go take half of this, go take half of that. And after a while, I just stopped asking. Um, and I used to just go and take it. Um, for about three or four years of my life, I literally took a narcotic drug almost every single night before I went to sleep. Um, it wasn't to feel high, it wasn't to um, enjoy myself, it was to sleep. Sole reason was to go to sleep. Um, but yeah, so I did that for a really long time. And then I have more, more recently um, done some more illegal things um, that most people do. And yeah, I'll leave it at that. Um, I don't remember much of my summer last summer so that's kind of unfortunate um so I don't deal with depression and anxiety like a lot of other people um I do not cut myself I do not burn myself I do not starve myself um solely because my dad killed himself and I refuse to put that um that pain back in somebody's eyes in my family because I know what it's like um to feel it it sucks. Um, I would never wish to put that pain back in anybody's eyes in my family. So I refuse to physically hurt myself in that sense. Um, and that's just me personally. Like I know a lot of people that have dealt with it in different ways and I will never tell you you're wrong for doing what you're doing because I know there's reasons behind it, but I like, I will not physically hurt myself. Um, but that's because I have past experience with it, and I know what it feels like to be around that a lot, actually. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I'll leave it at that. Um, this week's challenge was actually inspired by a video that me and Katie made about two weeks ago. Um, 100 Reasons to Stay Alive. So, Kat's challenge is to give up um, 10 reasons why we choose to live until the next day. Um, keep in mind, I wrote the whole hundred list, so some of them might be a, like repeat if you've seen the video. If not, you should go watch it because it is just something to do. It's actually a really like inspiring video I've heard. I've gotten a message on Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all of the above, and people really enjoyed it, so go check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, so, number one. Um, my best friends. I don't know where the fuck I would be without them. Um, this semester has been ridiculous, and without them, I'd be probably crying in a hole. So I wake up every day expecting to see them and hang out with them and all of that, and I don't know what I'd do without them. So everyone that knows they are my best friend, Katie, Kat, Sarah, Cosma, um, all of you, I need you, I love you, thank you. Um, number two. Random adventures. I love random adventures. Hershey Park, Six Flags, going to the park, going to the mall, it doesn't matter. As long as I'm with people I like, I love them, and that's a big reason. Three, um, graduating college. I wake up every day because I want to get through my life and end up graduating college in a couple years. Um, four, I want to make a change in the world, and I have to be alive to do that. Five, 
um, the days of the week in the summer where you don't know what day of the week it is. You wake up and you're like, is it Monday or is it Friday? Those days. Six. Um, those opportunities that you don't think are going to come along but totally do, and then they're just like, fuck, how did that happen? Those times. Um, seven. Finding out things you never thought you'd know or, like, find out. So, like, things you hear from people, um, like, eavesdropping conversations. Like, just hearing things that you're not supposed to hear. Because I love that for some reason. Um, I don't know if that was seven or eight, but eight. We'll go with that. Um, making amends with my family. Um, slowly each day I do, I get along with my family a little bit more and more each day, so that's really important to me. Nine, um, meeting new people, um, and like, actually I think that was eight, meeting new people is eight, um, just getting to know new people. Um, nine is falling in love with that person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Um, I feel like you go through a lot of trial and error with relationships. So I can't wait for the day that I actually settle down with that one person. And then number 10 is the most important to me. Um, number 10 is I wake up every day to make sure that somebody else stays alive. Um, that is the reason for this channel. It grew from nothing in my bedroom into what it is today. And I know some people watch this channel just for the entertainment, but some people actually watch it because they need that support. And I have a collection of amazing girls on this channel, and I'm so proud to say that, like, we all contribute to making sure that somebody stays alive for another day. That is the point of this channel. Um, we are here to answer your questions, to support you, to answer your messages, your Tumblr things, everything. Um, so... I am so happy that I can wake up in the morning and have somebody tell me that I've saved them or I've helped them stay alive just one more day or the channel has made them realize that it's okay to be gay or okay to be different. So, yeah, this means a lot to me, guys. Um, I love every single one of you guys out there, even though I don't know your names or your, where you're from. Um, you guys matter to me. So, yeah. Um, so this is my naked room. I am moving out on Monday and I am done with my freshman year. I have one final left and I will be done. So say goodbye to the dorm. You guys will be seeing my room at home and outside around there. Um, I hope finals go well for all you college students, high schoolers. Keep holding in there. You got like a month left. Um, but I will got, I will see you guys next Sunday, uh, not Sunday, next Thursday with Katie's theme. Um, and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. Yeah, bye guys.